All right, so this time we're going to talk about symmetric polynomials, which are uh, just a different kind of symmetric object. So imagine you have a polynomial in, let's say, three variables, x plus y plus z, and you were to switch the x and the y. So then your x plus y plus z becomes y plus x plus z, and thanks to the fact that addition is commutative, that's the same as x plus y plus z. Okay, so that's cool. And then if you, you know, switch all the variables around, so you have z, x, y, then you still have x plus y plus z. So any way you flip those three variables around, because of the fact that addition is commutative, you still have the same polynomial. So any polynomial and any number of variables we'll call symmetric if you can switch around the variables in any way and leave f unchanged. So in particular, it's going to be invariant under permutations. So then each permutation gives a symmetry of f. f is very, very symmetrical. So how about a bigger example? Let's say we take g of x, y, z equal to x squared y plus x squared plus z plus y squared x plus y squared z plus z squared x plus z, it's a z squared y. Now, if you were to switch, say, to y, z, x, you can very carefully write out what happens, and you'll find that it's really just the same polynomial switched around. So again, you know, that com commutivity of addition is going to let you put the terms in order and you get back where you started. Therefore, g is also symmetric. So an interesting question here is how do you go about checking symmetry without actually doing all of the many, many ways of rearranging the variables? How about a non-example? So we have h of x, y, z equal to x squared plus y squared plus z. And if you switch the x and the y, it's invariant. y squared plus x squared plus z is the same thing. But if you switch the z and the y, you get x squared plus z squared plus y, which isn't the same as a polynomial. So h isn't a symmetric polynomial. So for an exercise, probably a pretty easy exercise, the question is just how many different ways are there? How many different symmetries are there of a symmetric polynomial with n variables? So far we've only looked at three variables, but what if you had four, or five, six, whatever? If you're having trouble with it because maybe you haven't worked with the general n before, just try lots of small examples and try to come up with a formula in terms of n.